Hobart HDFR Training Guide. To set up, fill the unit with one inch of water and close the door. Turn on the unit by flipping on the motor, light, and temperature buttons. Flip on show burner button to turn on the show flame. The unit is preheating with show burner and will be ready for full operation in 15 to 20 minutes. Preparation. While the rotisserie is preheating, bring chickens in from the cooler. Check the temperature. The raw chicken should be between 37 and 42 degrees Fahrenheit. Insert an approved pop-up thermometer into the thickest part of the chicken breast. Using an approved chicken tie, wrap the tie around the legs, pulling the tie along the back, crisscross over the back of the chicken. The tie comes over the front, holding the wings to the side of the chicken. Insert the angle spit into the neck of the chicken. The flat side of the spit must be parallel with the breastbone. As you slide the chicken onto the spit, make sure the legs and thighs are on the same side as the breast. This is an example of incorrect spitting. It is wrong when the angle of the spit is in line with the breast. This will split the backbone of the chicken. It results in chickens possibly falling off the spit during the cooking process. This is another example of incorrect spitting. It is wrong if the legs and thighs are not on the same side as the breast. This could cause the legs to fall off during cooking. This is also an example of incorrect spitting. It is wrong because the legs are being inserted first. This could result in birds moving along the spit during the cooking process. Remember, always insert the neck first with the flat side of the spit parallel with the breastbone, legs and thighs on the same side as the breast. Continue this process until all birds are properly spitted. This photo shows an angle spit complete with five birds ready for loading into the rotisserie. Loading. Load the spits into the oven. First insert the pointed end into the hole on the left side of the rotor drum. Second, set the drive end into position on the right side rotor drum. It is important to make sure the right side of the spit is in proper position and fully engaged in the drive mechanism. Move rotor using foot pedal to start-stop drum rotation. Load every other spit position until all spits are in position. For example, load the first position, skip the second, load the third, skip the fourth, etc. Close the door and get ready to cook. After the rotisserie has been preheated with show flame, and after the chickens have been loaded into the rotisserie, you are ready to begin cooking with the cook timer. This section describes using the cook timer in manual mode. Step 1. Set cook temperature. Press cook temperature button, toggle up button or down button until desired temperature is reached. Step 2. Set the cook time. Press the cook time button, then toggle the up button or down button until the desired time is reached. Step 3. Set the hold temperature. Press hold temperature button. Toggle up button or down button until desired temperature is reached. Then push start stop and the timer starts. Step 4. Start the cooking process. Press top front and top rear buttons.
on the front of the rotisserie. The igniters will spark and the burners will turn on and glow red. When the cook time has expired, the cooking process ends. The buzzer will sound. Press hold temperature button to enter into the hold cycle or push start stop button to unload. Unloading. Using high temperature gloves, remove the product as shown, put chickens in container and into warming cabinet immediately. Using pop-ups will indicate chicken is done. Also check with thermometer to ensure internal temperature is 180 degrees or higher. Cleaning. Turn unit off. Warning. Disconnect electrical supply and follow lockout tagout procedures. Allow oven to cool before cleaning. Wipe out unit with hot soapy water. Clean and sanitize unit and accessories for the next day.